Here's what's frustrating. People hear AI and instantly assume it's bad for artists, but not all AI is built to replace us. Some of it is designed to empower us. Hear me out. I'm partnering with HP to talk about how their HP Elite Book with the new AMD Ryzen AI Pro 300 series processor is actually helping me streamline my VFX workflow without compromising creativity. As a VFX artist, I totally get the fear around AI. The negative rhetoric isn't coming out of nowhere, especially when generative AI is so widely accessible. It can feel pretty unsettling for us digital artists. In my opinion, generative AI can't exist without us artists. It literally Literally relies on our work to function. No matter how advanced it gets, it will never surpass real human value because people inherently value the time, the effort, and the intention behind art. When we talk about AI, I think the focus should be how we can genuinely improve our quality of life with it, especially when it means removing those mundane tasks that drain our time, our energy, and don't push us forward creatively. Let me show you how I use AI daily as a VFX artists. So tasks that used to take me hours, like manually masking every single frame, those are now being handled by tools like Rotoscope 3.0 or Photoshop's generative fill. Now faster than ever, you could fix audio within seconds or transcribe full videos with AI powered editing tools to cut out pauses like that. Because to be real, I don't think doing frame by frame rotoscoping made me a more creative artist. AI tools are being integrated into all of our favorite editing programs for a reason. And that's because they streamline the time consuming tasks so that we can spend more energy on what actually matters, which is the creative process. And because software is becoming more efficient for the sake of artists, it makes sense that the hardware matches. In laptops like the HP Elite Book, it has an MPU, which is a processor specialized for AI usage. So instead of running everything on the CPU or the GPU, you can move over all those tasks to the hardware designed to process it. So outside of the AI tools I've already mentioned, another way that I use AI tools that allows me to continue focusing on making my art is using it to help with creating viral captions for my content. Like I went to film school for art. I didn't go to film school to make viral captions. So let me show you exactly how I do this. So using the HP AI companion, I input my list of ideas that include like catchy words, caption length, overall tone, then I ask it to create viral captions based on my direction. Also running AI locally is not only faster, but safer because it keeps all your data private on your device. The thing is, I truly believe that in order to get the best results with AI, you need a creator. You need to be able to give it directions for it to have a really good output. By me studying captions, logging what works, and really learning click-worthy strategies, I'm able to guide the HP AI companion into helping me with create different ideas. With this, I'm able to get a whole bunch of different options and kind of piece together the perfect caption that fits for my needs. Having this extra perspective is so incredibly helpful because I work by myself, so I'm not really able to bounce ideas off of anyone. And I found that I was spending way too much time trying to come up with a good caption. By doing it this way, it has allowed me to generate multiple options for me that are based on my input. It allows me to focus on continuing being creative. In my opinion, I truly believe that as creatives, we need to lean into AI tools that are designed to support us. It doesn't make sense to reject AI when the very software that we rely on for editing is already powered by that technology. Staying ahead of the curve and investing in equipment built to handle these type of AI driven workflows helps us with faster processing greater efficiency, and ultimately more time to focus on creating. And that's exactly why I've been using the HP Elite Book because it's literally built to handle the heavy lifting so that I can focus on my art. I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. I will see you very soon.